workout I've actually injured my back so I can't really do that much and it's really frustrating because like I want to do all these things and I can't do them I injured it by doing RDLs incorrectly and like I've just come to realize how dangerous they actually are and they can really fuck up your back if you don't do them properly and obviously like I've been training since I was like four years old I'm not new to working out or anything but you know I was never taught how to do deadlifts properly and um, so yeah I injured my back and I can't really do anything that involves like sit-ups or bending down or lifting anything heavy so I'm kind of just doing like booty exercises and um, some pull-ups because I can do those but it's okay I mean I just have to rest and recover now I'm gonna have a sauna what's new let's go guys I've decided to do a thing I was inspired by a YouTube channel that I watch her name is Joyish she does this social media detox for a week at the end of every month and it's at the end of the month and I've kind of spontaneously decided to give it a go I mean it's been on my mind for a while now like I've been wanting to do a social media detox but I was only thinking for like one or two days. Um, but I'm like, why not just go all in and go for a week? Um, I, it feels it feels more encouraging when you've got a whole community doing it with you as well. So it starts tomorrow and it ends on the 1st of October. And uh, so yeah, what you just saw me doing uh, was writing down some of my intentions behind why I'm doing the social media detox. I thought it would help me have some clarity and like, I just thought it would be a, a good idea to, to write some intentions down. Um, and I'm gonna read them to you. They're not like a secret or anything. So I've got four main intentions and they are, I want to see if my mental health improves. Number two, I want to see what original ideas slash thoughts I have which are not influenced by social media. Three, I want to use the time I would normally spend on social media to go towards reading, being creative or sitting with myself and just being. And number four, I want to challenge myself and embrace uncomfortableness. So yeah, those are my intentions. Um, the rules are delete all the social media apps which include facebook twitter instagram pinterest and tiktok because those are the ones which are on my phone but i am allowed to use messaging apps uh my i am sober app uh youtube just for my meditations playlist and uh any educational apps those are just rules that I made up for myself. I don't know what um, like other people are doing, but I I like those rules and they're challenging. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. 
Like I said, I want to challenge myself and just see what, what comes of it, you know? It might be the most boring week of my life, but it's only a week and I'll, I'll survive. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So, I'm in the car, I'm waiting for Jake and Ali to come down. They are late. You will never guess where we're going. Um, maybe I should wait till they get here to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait till they come. Okay, so where are we? We are in Kalakara, ghost hunting, literally. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere, we're in the caves right now. No, the tunnels. Tunnels, Jake. We're about to go through a tiny little arch. I don't know where we're gonna go after that, and it's gonna be creepy. We've already had contact, and we've used the human pendulum. The EMF going off. Oh, yeah. So, let me just reiterate we're ghost hunting right now. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know someone was there. No. It's going crazy right now. Is that Lady Real? Huh? Is she actually there? Or? This is not good for my back. Oh, this is really creepy. Wait, what? At the bottom. That was a bug. That was a bug. Is the entrance. Uh, not an entrance. Well, it is an old entrance which is partly blocked, which takes you out to the sea. <laughs> These are uh, chairs. Yeah. <laughs> the Second World War. They're called counter tunnels, and they were dug um, to uh, be used to, uh, against the enemy. So if the enemy ever came through, yeah, they'd be used to sort of attack them from behind or from the side. <laughs> And obviously, the biggest worry was the Germans. It's scary. It's so cold. It's so exciting. I'm actually not as scared as I was before I came. Yeah. I will say though, guys, that about three months ago, a young man here committed suicide. Oh! He shot himself. Oh, God. It wasn't reported, but you know, in Malta, there are no suicides. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna report back in a bit when we see the ghost. A lovely breeze here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lovely view. Listen to the waves. Wow, I like it here. Yeah. Right now, in London, United Kingdom, it's 14 degrees Celsius. So 
I've packed most of my luggage and now I have to pack my hand luggage. My main dilemma right now is what books do I take and how many do I take? I'm gonna close my door. I'm gonna take the one I'm reading right now, which is The Six of Crows, as like my entertainment book. You see, I've got this, which is quite, you know, a hefty book, but I'm like halfway through. And then also halfway through Virginia uh, Woolf. And, and obviously I need to take my Kindle because, you know, it's got my other books in there. These are the ones that are gonna come with me. Let's do it. Hey guys, so I'm off to the gym now. It's our last day in Malta and we thought we'd make the most of it and go to the sauna and the dip pool and everything. And how cute is my outfit? Damn, I can see some abs coming through. <laughs> nice. Now I'm feeling quite fit. Going to grow! 